before I get started here, I want to introduce, uh, we have a new uh, head of construction at NAFVAC, uh, Justin Nobel. <clears throat> he, replaced, uh, he replaced Scott Hinton, who uh, has gone on to be our deputy ops officer. This uh, first slide here shows um, the area of responsibility for NAFVAC Northwest. It's a pretty large area there, but uh, most of the uh, facilities that are out in the Midwest there are small reserve centers, and uh, mo most of our work is, excuse me, concentrated in the uh, Puget Sound area there, and our, our major installations there. For those of you that are looking for work from us, the important thing to remember is uh, where the public works departments are. The public works departments award all of our work under five million and a lot between five and ten million. And those are located at Bangor, Bremerton, Whidbey Island, and Everett. Those are the PWDs that award most of our projects. This slide shows uh, NAFAC's major subordinate commands, uh, Naval Station Everett, um, Indian Island with the, the weapons munitions uh, command there, uh, Naval Air Station Whidbey Island, and Naval Base Kitsap, which includes Bangor and the shipyard at Bremerton. This shows our, uh, our business volume, where we do about between two and three hundred million dollars of work typically every year, both uh, work in place for construction and design in, in place. And then the public works uh, services, uh, base services type stuff, uh, facilities management and sustainment, utilities and transportation. Most of our environmental work is up in Alaska for construction related type work. Our typical acquisition approaches are set aside for small business and full and open competition. Most of our work is done through the multiple award construction contracts, the MAX. Um, well, I'll go through the individual MAX on later slides here, but. Um, a lot of these MACs are also set aside for small business. For the AEs, we do indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity contracts for AEs, and I'll go through those. And then we also have our jocks and small MACs to do the smaller projects. Our facility service contracts are mostly through boss contracts. Our architect engineering contracting. Um, we do our A and &E contracts through the IDIQs. We do those on a regional basis so that we can minimize the amount of time for our contracts team. If you're a small business, your best opportunity is going to be as a consultant to one of these larger A and &E firms or working with a construction contractor on a design build contract. This shows our, our uh, current design tools. We have a marine waterfront, IDIQ, architectural, civil structural. Um, we dropped our mechanical electrical a while ago, but we decided we really need that, so we're going to uh, resolicit that. We have a multidiscipline uh, facility planning and a, a petroleum. We recently did a petroleum contract for design because of the large amount of work that's going to be coming up at the Manchester Fuel Depot. For construction, we have a small MAC, a hub zone MAC, a vet MAC, and a marine and waterfront MAC. All the incumbents are listed there. And the dates that we're going to resolicit those. Uh, for more construction in the Northwest, Mega Mac, which is just a larger Mac. The amounts that we can award Max has recently been raised, and now we can actually go up to a billion dollars on a Mac. And we also have higher uh, task order limits that we can use. Some of the projects that are in the works right now. P-256 up at Whidbey Island is a, a maintenance hangar that's under solicitation now. Uh, P-834 
a new service peer at Bangor. Uh, we solicited that, we got proposals. Um, we're having some cost issues with that, so that's likely to be deferred to a later time. And then the missile magazines at the, at, up at uh, Indian Island are under solicitation right now. The fiscal year 19 Milcon projects, we have a new transportation security pier uh, coming up at Bangor, a uh, fleet support facility up at Whitby, uh, next generation jammer facility at Whitby, and a security building at Bayview, Idaho, which is uh, relatively small. Special projects, here's a list of the fiscal year 19 special projects that have been authorized. I'm not going to go each, through each of these individual projects. You can get these slides from the AGC website. Some more of the special projects there. What are the current drivers for us? We're still doing some nuclear weapon security and transportation protection system projects at Naval Base Kitsap, but that's definitely winding down. The new pier at uh, Bangor, the P907, that is a transportation protection security. That is one of those projects. Uh, NAS Whitby Island, over the last few years, we've invested a lot in Whitby Island for the new aircraft that are being stationed up there. We still have a, a few, few projects left in the coming years on that. The uh, biggest driver that is going to be coming our way in the future is the shipyard modernization. The, it, it looks like Congress is going to approve a substantial investment in the four shipyards across the Navy, upwards of uh, $20 billion over a 10 to 20 year period. So we'll be getting our share of that, and we're in the planning stage on that right now. We don't have any project lists that's being developed right now. Uh, the Current SSBMs at Bangor are going to be replaced by a Columbia class submarine and there'll be some facilities <coughs> projects associated with that. That's also in the planning phase right now. The Manchester fuel farm improvements, we're going to be replacing all of the fuel tanks at Manchester over a period of years. That's in design right now. Uh, new hospital at Whitby Island, that's in planning right now, trying to decide which base to put that at or both bases and utility improvements projects. So points of contact, you can get in touch with me for the larger projects or our Jim Niles, our small business uh, representative for the smaller stuff. I know Jim goes to a lot of events and a lot of you have met Jim and are in touch with him. Any questions? Did he build a banker job? Is that maybe coming out here in the next year or so? Yeah. Which banker job? The pier? Yeah, the pier. Pier P907? Yeah, that will be coming out. It's in design right now. So it'll be coming out for the next year or so. 